Hello friends, it's Sonia here from Growing Craft and today I am here to share this cute little card tutorial with you all. So let's get started. So here I have taken a white color cardstock and I am using this fade uh, theme stencil from Crafty Scrappers and I am going to create a nice background on my cardstock. And as the theme says, it's a faded theme so this is going to really give a nice texture on my cardstock. Once my uh, modeling paste has dried out completely, now I am going to color this with my uh, blending tool and I am using Tubby Craft ink pads for this and I am really happy with the coloring and it's super easy, super fun and super exciting. I will be experimenting with the color so here I am using a dark red pink color, orange color and I will be blending them on the complete cardstock. And I've already pre-cut the border and the base card for my tag. So now I'm going to stamp on it. I'm using the mask or stamp set from Crafty Scrappers again and this is just to highlight my border. Now I'll be using foam tape to stick my mixed media card on my base and I'll be using my local adhesive just to make sure that it sticks out properly. For my borders, I'll be just gluing the edges and stick it on my top layer of the card. So now once the border and my base is ready, I have this pre-cut um, digital stamp set from, uh, I think from Altenew I got this and I have already colored this and now I'm going to stick this. To give it a nice 3D effect, I'm going to use my foam tape on uh, below all my flowers and make it look a little more tempting and decorative. Now arranging these flowers are really fun and I love arranging my mixed media projects cause that's the time when you really work on the design and complement your project. Nowadays I am very much addictive to glossy essence and I love using them on my cards for a nice glossy effect and so I am doing the same with my flowers. So as glossy essence takes a little time to dry out, I will just do the glossy essence work and then I am going to stink my sentiment and my card is ready but I do need to keep it aside for dry it takes a little bit more time but then that's fine the final outcome of the card will really make you happy I hope you enjoyed this tutorial do subscribe to my channel thank you